Steve Bucarati is somewhat of a legend. He started the Coca-Cola company in 1991. He's managed talent acquisition. He's had a diversity programs, including the Women's Initiative. And today, he is going to help you caffeinate your career. Steve, you really have enormous experience. And I think let's get right to it. In your vast, vast experience of talent management, what do people do that accelerates their career? And what do they traditionally do that sabotages them? Okay, great, great question. So I think first and foremost, the folks who are successful focus on the business. They know the business inside out and they tie everything they do to making the business more successful. You know, during my almost 25 years at Coke, we had a, a saying, you either sell Coke or you support someone who sells Coke. Uh, yeah. And you have to keep that in mind, even if you're in a human resources role like I was for most of my career, you're supporting people who are selling Coke. So you gotta focus on the business. You have to be, you know, the big picture thinker, but, but big picture in two ways in my mind. You clearly have to be uh, you know, a strategic thinker. That's kind of almost the price of admission for leadership. But you've also got to be a systemic thinker. And what I mean by that is you've got to be someone who knows how to connect the dots, who can connect every dot to every dot, and then step back and say, and what dots do I not see or does anyone else not see? And then find those dots and connect them. So this whole idea of strategic and systemic thinking is huge. Um, you have got to be, you know, in my mind, uh, willing to make the tough decisions. You've got to step forward in critical moments and you have to be willing to be, you know, the person who voices the different thought is a the contrary. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you were saying a leader could be in a meeting or a potential leader could be in a meeting. Yeah. And, and so here's the example I give. I, I mentor a lot of people. I've mentored probably 40 people in my career at Coke. One of the things I always tell them is you can be in the room and you're typically in a meeting, there's 10 to 12 other folks in that room and there's somebody presenting an idea and everybody's kind of nodding their head around the table. It's okay to be the contrarian. It's okay to say, okay, this all sounds great. What were the two or three ideas that you had that you decided not to use in lieu of using this one? Or um, this all sounds really, really great what are we not thinking about or talking about today that's going to bite us in the butt five years from right now that will kick ourselves for not having thought about it so those are the kinds of things in my mind that are crucial to navigating being successful obviously the price of admission is also being a great communicator being a great uh collaborator um sabotage that's a really interesting question um i think uh folks who have their own agenda uh, will lose in the end. I think I have seen it over and over and over again of people who have their own agenda, they put their own agenda ahead of the company's agenda, and uh, they may win initially, uh, it catches up to them. And so I don't think anybody who I've ever seen who's been enormously successful has ever been successful putting their agenda first. So if I were to ask you, what is your biggest takeaway? What is the thing if you were going to give cliff notes to somebody, what would you say? Number one is B. Yeah, number one is business focus uh, and results driven. Uh, again, the cliff notes version would be systemic and strategic thinker, communicator, collaborator, um, and, uh, and be a contrarian. You have just got thousands of dollars of advice and guidance from a man <laughs> who really does know a lot about caffeinating 